Hey there everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi, hello, hello, hello. Um, it is that time again where we are going to be doing an unboxing and taking a look at an awesome canvas. So um, I'm sure you can tell by the box that we're, we're looking at a Diamond Art Club here, but I have it flipped around that way we can kind of reveal that image. Um, you may hear some gnawing in the background. Apollo's got his uh, nylon bone that he's chewing on to keep himself busy. It's another hot one, um, so I just turned the AC off, so we'll see how much uh, grace he gives me in filming before um, before it's time to turn that back on. Um, I had him outside and I was um, chasing him around the backyard just to give him some exercise, but we keep it pretty minimal in the, the high heat like this and kind of do it in spurts. So we may go back outside when things have cooled off tonight and I'll put my headlamp on and we'll go for a longer walk, but for now, the bone's keeping him company while we do this unboxing. The second thing I wanted to mention here is that this actually is not a brand new unboxing in terms of removing the plastic and all of that stuff. So the plastic's actually already off of this box. And in fact, I believe I've already stripped down the toolkit. I can't quite remember what all I did to the toolkit, but I had a buddy um, earlier in the year who um, wanted some baggies to put little screws in and stuff like that for his um for organizing in the shop or his little shop and so i was like i should have some baggies and i didn't have any spares so i opened up a kit to get those for him so i don't know there's definitely the baggies are definitely missing out of this one i just don't know what else i did to it but i haven't seen the um the canvas or the rendering or the drills i literally cracked it open took the toolkit out got the uh, baggies and I'm not sure if I broke down the toolkit in total or jammed it back in here. So be forewarned, we may be missing a toolkit, but we will absolutely be at least missing the baggies. So just keep that in mind. Um, I hope everyone's having a fabulous week. Um, we're kind of midweek here and I decided to go ahead and get this unboxing done so I can work on editing it and processing and uploading. Um, so yeah, I'm just hanging out um, this evening um, and we'll be ideally doing a diamond painting session uh, this evening. Um, I've got my T10 candle. You can kind of see it showing its face over there. Um, we're burning desert night, so getting some good smells too. So, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at this and get this unboxing underway. I'm gonna pull this off camera. This is a, this is a big one. <laughs> Oh, okay, cool. So I only messed with partial uh, part of the toolkit. So let's go ahead and just empty this out. Um, okay, so we've got our, our uh, thing here. I haven't even revealed what the kit is. I should probably do that. Let's see, hold on. Let's get this all together. I zoomed out a little bit because this is a big in. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we are talking about Da, 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 da. Dusk to Dawn by Deborah Malcolm. Look at that kit. That is a 155 by 51. Holy moly, that's a big one. So I remember when this I first saw this, I was like, I absolutely have to, you know, that's on my list. And so I, I snagged it. This is a square drill canvas, like I said, uh, 155 by 51. Um, square canvas. You can identify which is which square or round by your little square symbol here. It says square diamonds. Um, I believe this stripe here is also different um, as well. And yeah, that's kind of how you're able to identify. Um, some other information, how to diamond paint on the box. Um, but like I said, I've got us pretty zoomed out in hopes to get as much of this canvas in frame as possible. Um, here we have our little mini sticker that the kits come with. Um, Diamond Art Club kits anyway. You can use this to put on your box. You can journal with it, all sorts of stuff. I have some plans for this. Um, I've got a little journaling project that I'm going to be working on. So as you can see, this is one of the newer toolkits, but it's already been opened because I got I removed the baggies. So keep that in mind. Baggies will be missing, but they do come in these kits. So there's that. I'm going to set that aside. I'm just checking to make sure that you can see everything. Um, so yeah, we've got a few different things here. I guess we'll start with our diamond painting pen. So this is our applicator pen. You've got a single placer on this side, and then Diamond Art Club gives you a four and a seven placer or multi-placers. You also get a little comfort grip 
here, da, 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 like that, just to make it a little bit more comfortable to diamond paint. So there's that. I'm gonna set these aside. We also get a diamond painting tray. Some of them are a little bit more, whoops. <laughs> some of them are a little bit more flexible. Some are more rigid, I think, depending on when the manufacturing you know, stage was with these new kits. This is more of a flexi one. It has a little bit of a bow on the bottom, so might not be the most ideal diamond painting tray to utilize, but it is functional. Um, but I would suggest, you know, one of the first things that I upgraded was upgrading to a, um, a bigger tray, a more solid tray. So um, there's plenty of places to pick those up at. And then you also are going to get um, this little container, wax container. It comes with two pieces of that heart-shaped wax. Plenty to get you through um, a kit, even something this size. And then it kind of gets stored in this little caddy, which is nice. You're also going to get, since this is squares, um, a set of tweezers or um, tweezers. These are kind of sharp-ended tweezers, so you want to be careful with those. Um, I always keep them kind of closed as soon as I'm done using them, but these are a, a kind of an ombre pink with the Diamond Art Club logo. And then last but not least, other than the um, the missing um, baggies is, oh, and I think I'm also missing, there should have been a cover minder in here. I might have pulled that out too. So cover minder's missing, baggies missing. I'm so sorry, but we do have washi tape. This is a pretty green floral pattern. It looks like it was cut, oh, yep. Yeah. It looks like it was cut, and so I got like a little little bonus super thin roll of washi tape as well. So there's that. Um, but yes, your kit, should it arrive with the new tool kit, will come with baggies and a cover minder. So keep that in mind. I think I pulled the cover minder out to give to a coworker. So um, here is the canvas in its little cover, and this is heavy, he heavy. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out, take these drills out. Oh my goodness, this is this is a lot. I'm so excited. I don't, who knows when I'll get to this, but um, I'm gonna set the drills aside now. Two big old bags of drills, oh my goodness. Um, and we'll pull the canvas out. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, let's go ahead and set that there. Apollo's getting curious, he heard the crinkling. Hi buddy. Um, so here we're going to have our uh, little instruction sheet here and the thank you for purchasing. This is going to have some more detailed instructions as well as some discount codes. So that's always worth holding on to. And then we also have our legend and our sticker sheet um, slash sticker sheet. So you have a, a larger image here, um, Dust to Dawn, Deborah Malcolm. You have our sizing here, 155 by 51. And this is 52 colors, and it looks like we've got five ABs here. Wow, that's like the most I've ever done. Um, and these are all removable sticker labels. So you can pop those off to put on your storage containers. I hold on to it just like this so I can use it kind of as a, a walking legend. So there's that. And okay, I'm gonna do what I normally do and kind of look down as I, oh my gosh, it just hit the floor. <laughs> Apollo, stay back. Um, just to roll this backwards. So um, Diamond Art Club uses a poured glue method, meaning that the uh, glue is kind of screened on or poured on as opposed to um, laid with like a double-sided tape or adhesive. So it just means it's a little bit more durable, a little bit more flexible. Um, your diamonds tend to be a little bit more manageable as far as like if you've misplaced them, you can kind of move them a little bit into place without any issues. Um, and the canvas that Diamond Art Club uses is a little bit more um, kind of velveteen and it lays flat really nicely. So um, are we ready? Let's see, I'm gonna move you all as far as I can go. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go up a little bit. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I've got the camera at a really odd zoom angle so I could try to get as much in as possible. Wow. Oh my god. And it's still going off the table, off the end. There's tons to look at here. So let's start here um, and then I'll kind of give you a a little scroll over, I'll pull it over once we're done talking about the drills and everything, but wow. So it basically goes from like kind of sunrise um, throughout the day, all the way at the end here, and then you've got the back end. 
which kind of has more of the stars and stuff. So I guess it's kind of like, yeah, dusk, dusk going all the way until dawn of light in the morning. That's so cool. So awesome. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a peek at the, I'm just like trying to take it all in. In the camera, it looks so much more interesting because you get that zoomed out so the colors tend to blend um really up close there's you know there's more of a stark contrast from color to color but it's still fascinating to look at there's just so much to look at oh my gosh um okay i'm gonna clean up this toolkit a little bit i've got pretty much everything crammed all the way to the side um but that's okay so let's go ahead and take a look at our drills here da -da. Um, before I before I go ahead and break these open, um, so we've got one out of two and two out of two here. Before I crack these open, I'm gonna stop so I can do all the crinkly bits as far as getting those out, and then um, we'll come back and look at the colors. So just one moment. Okay, we've got the drills pulled out. Um, there is a lot, and there's gonna be a lot of crinkle just in moving all these drills through our through our camera here. Um, so please bear with me. I will probably do a little bit of volume adjustment too, just to try to clean that up. But we're gonna go through these. I'm gonna grab my handy dandy scissors. That way I can snip out the ABs and then we can talk about placement of them as we, um, as we take a look at the canvas. But let's get through the drills um, or the diamonds. So uh, we have 600 three, four bags of 327. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh wait, wait, hold on. Three bags of 820, two of 797. One, two, three, four, five bags of 939, that kind of deeper blue. Just gonna set these behind us just for cleanliness sake. Um, let's go ahead and grab this. So then we've got, geez, the tiniest little handful of uh, 758, kind of a peachy color, 3827, uh, I'm sorry, three bags, 742, three bags, and then 310, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bags of 310, and then finishing that strand with a 743. Ooh, that's a lot of 310. Let's see. I feel like everything's gonna be a lot of whatever it is just because this canvas is so big. Um, so yeah, 3809, 415, 414, 210, 318, 890, 1, 2, 3, 4 bags of 741, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 bags of 947, and then 4 bags of 7. 40. Wow, wow, wow. It's kind of cool. You can see where the like the major colors are for the the dusk so side um, and the dawn side. It's really cool. So, okay, next strand. Ooh, this is a big one. Okay. So we've got 550, two bags of that. 38, 34, two bags of that. Our first AB, a white AB, 141. So let's go ahead and snip it. And boop, 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 boop. okay, Put it over here. Apollo, those are not for you, my friend. Okay, 498, two bags, 209, one bag. Ooh, look at that 606, kind of that neon y kind of orangish red. Three bags of that. 208, one bag, 333, two bags, 38, 43, one bag, 321, one bag, 995, a single bag. 823, two bags, and one bag of 815. All right. Okay, we've got our last strand here. Um, we've got 3810, 317, 3778, 807, 963, 3607, 3325, 814, 904, 762, 3848, 3808, 3371, 129, which is our second AB, and this is a light yellow AB. So let's go ahead and snip that. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Cool. All right, set these behind us. Okay. 
finishing strong, 895, 138, and 126. So let's go ahead and cut those out together. Those are uh, numbers three and four of our ABs, kind of a lightish blue and a light purple lavender color. So I'll go ahead and snip those out. I'm kind of surprised, well, I guess it makes sense. Um, the ABs are, um, I'll have to kind of keep track of like, do we get darker ABs in a lot of Diamond Art Club kits? Because these are all kind of our pastel, kind of lighter colors. I need to start keeping an eye on like, what those shades are, like if we get deep, dark ABs. Um, last three colors, 7, 98, 601, love that pink, and 107, our final AB, which that one is a little bit more vivid. It's kind of like a uh, orangey red. No, it's more like a classic, like cherry red um, in AB form. So um, ABs, if you're unfamiliar, they stand for Aurora Borealis, and they are a... Hold on, let's see what this kiddo's doing. Sir, <laughs> he's... He's done. He's like, turn the AC back on. I've had enough. So, um, <laughs> um, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And as you can see, compared to regular drills, these are going to have this really cool iridescent look to them, extra shine, et extra glimmer. And even though that coating, I think, is the same, it's going to do different things for different drills. So, like, as you can see here, we're getting a lot of that purple and more of that, uh, maybe some pink hues. This is giving us a lot more of that kind of pink. And then the blue, it really refracts the blues, maybe some greens there. The yellow, obviously we're gonna get that yellow, but almost some deeper golds here and there. And then this is giving us a lot of more purpley and reddish. So it does enhance that color. And it also can highlight some of the drills that are around it as well. It just really draws your eye to those um, pieces of the canvas. So starting off with number one, which was 107, that's going to be that red AB. And we're going to have that um, here in the moon, kind of our um, dawn moon, I, I believe. Um, and we're also going to see that, let's see. We see that anywhere down here. No, not really here. Um, let's see. We have it quite a bit in some streaks up here and through here. So it's kind of doing some, um, it's just accentuating some of these streaks in here in this phase. So I'm going to place it here. I'm seeing like some big chunks here and then here. Number two is going to be the lavender and that's probably going to be on the other side. So let's take a look. Da -da. I'm going to fold this just for the sake of being able to see. Um, so it looks like we have quite a bit of it here on this phase. Um, let's see, that might be the majority of it. Yeah, it looks like that's kind of the main area. I'm going to, just for the sake of being able to place these, I'm going to kind of do this. So keep in mind, you're not seeing the full image, unfortunately, but this is quite the canvas. So I'm going to place those here. Stay or don't stay. Okay. <laughs> Number three is going to be the yellow. And I'm seeing that here in some streaks here and a little bit down here in the reflection from the, the lake or pond. So I'm going to go ahead and place these here. So we're going to have quite a bit of AB going on in this side. Number four is going to be that blue AB. And if I had to guess, we're gonna kind of match here. So yeah, quite a bit up here, some sprinkling of it down here, but once again, up here. Wow, these moons are going to really sparkle. And then our last one is the white AB, and that's gonna be number five, and that's really scattered throughout. So obviously some larger chunks over there where the stars are, but then they start to break up a little bit more closer to dawn, and then some of the reflection down here on the water. So for the sake of where I'm seeing the most of it, I'm gonna go pop those there. So the AB um, profile here is definitely spread out and it's focused kind of on our moon phases and then throughout the star. So it's not too heavy with the ABs, um, which I kind of like. I think your forest scene's actually gonna be a little bit more muted and then that skyline is really what's gonna light up. So I can't wait to work on this. This seems like it's gonna be pretty heavy with color blocking. Uh, so ideally it'll move quicker um, because it does have that color blocking, but down here in these areas um, where the transitions are a little bit more tight because it's kind of that tighter reflection, 
Um, that might be a little bit closer to confetti, or some people will call it color blocking confetti. Um, confetti meaning where you're uh, changing colors quite frequently, color blocking where you have these large, really large sections of similar symbols and colors. So as per usual uh, for Diamond Art Club, symbol clarity looks just fine. I'm not noticing any issues. With this number of colors, sometimes I will see the um, M and N uh, be both represented here, but I'm not seeing that on this canvas. So I'm, oh, there is uh, uppercase and lowercase, which isn't really a problem. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking we're pretty good from a symbol standpoint here as well. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Once again, this is Dusk to Dawn from Deborah Malcolm. This is a 155 centimeter by 51 centimeter square drill canvas that is definitely going to be a project and a half. And I don't know when I'm gonna get to it, but I'm so glad that I was able to snag it. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. And considering, you know, even with the size, I have a feeling it's gonna move relatively quickly because of the amount of color blocking. And I love that this is that um, kind of landscape uh, format as opposed to like a portrait panel. Um, I think this will be fun to work. I'm going to essentially have to work on it completely as a panel, kind of scroll, roll it up and then undo it as a scroll as I go down. So I don't know. It's going to be a unique experience and I'm looking forward to it. But let me know if you have any questions, comments, um, if you've worked on this canvas or if it's one that's been on your wish list, or if you have any other kits that you've worked on of a similar size, maybe you have some tips for tackling these really long panels um, and how to be most effective working with the smaller space. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, um, share this content with friends, family members, and anyone that you think might take some value out of this content. Otherwise, thanks again and happy placing. Bye, 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 bye.